there's a pavement that way. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Zeke, and today I'm gonna do a little, not necessarily a review. Well, yeah, it's a review. But I just wanna brag about a company that I came across. A lot of y'all know about it. I didn't know about these uh, windshields before as I'm cleaning my desk, as I never do, while I'm doing a video. Good job, Zeke. Got these little micro SDs, they're everywhere, and I don't wanna lose them. They're important. Like I was saying, a lot of y'all have heard of Clockworks before. I didn't hear about them until about a year ago, and I didn't really think anything of it because before I got the Road Glide, I had a motorcycle without a fairing, and I just got blown back like a giant sail. Well, now I've got the Road Glide, it's got a fairing. I had the stock windshield on it, and it felt like there were little garden gnomes beating me on the head with a rubber mallet every time I went out riding. Is bad and that's called the wind buffeting and basically what it was is i'm not going to explain the science but something about negative pressure vacuum behind the shield who cares it sucked there were some rides i would come back from and i would feel like i had a concussion like i was just foggy dizzy sometimes a headache I couldn't hear because all the wind noise even with earplugs in didn't help that was the first thing i tried a buddy of mine told me that he had extra clockwork i said absolutely i'll take it anything to try to fix this because i was miserable writing got one and did a little instagram review real quick little video showing the difference between it with the clockworks and with the stock windshield got a response from brian clock himself blew me away uh, he was grateful for the video i told him hey no problem you put out a great product made my riding more enjoyable. Then I got to meet him up at Sturgis and he was a phenomenal guy. Every single person I met that works with him was amazing people too. Amazing person, amazing people, sure. So because of all that, I just wanted to talk about his windshield and do a little review and show you the difference. Apparently when I went to do the video with the stock windshield on and the clockworks on, the microphone was down in my beard, so you couldn't really tell the difference. All you could really do is just hear me talking. A couple quick warnings before I show you the, the differences. With the GoPro, I don't know much about it. Yeah, I know, I don't know much about a lot of technology. A little bit, I'm getting there. With a GoPro, if you have high decibel sounds, which wind can be absolute eardrum crushing sounds, the GoPro will knock out the sound or drop the, the microphone, the built-in microphone level. Here's the video. Stock windshield first without the GoPro mic, the lav mic plugged in. Right after that, lav mic plugged in, stock windshield. Right after that, clockworks windshield, lav mic out. You get the picture. Now before we go to the lav mic being plugged in on the GoPro with the Clockworks windshield, just to let you know, my beard cuts out pretty much all the sound but my voice. It's an awesome, awesome soundproofer. Maybe I should just shave it every few months and sell it to like recording industry people. I am in Nashville. With the stock windshield, I was getting all kinds of wind noise inside my helmet. It's next to gone now. My visor broke off about a month and a half ago. So there's gonna be a little bit. You can tell the difference, I hope. So there's 60 where before it felt like little garden gnomes were beating on my head with rubber mallets. Not with the clockwork switch shield on it. 
I'm just talking about a cool product. They did not give me this windshield. They do not sponsor me. This is just a cool company getting some good promotion for an awesome design. I get a little bit right at my forehead of the wind. I mean, I can tell where it hits. If there's one thing I regret about this windshield, and it has nothing to do with Clockworks at all. It has to do with me wanting a bargain. I would go with the 14 inch with my height. Wow, that's really wearing off there. Uh, 14 inch, this is a 12 inch. For me being 6'7", those two extra inches would probably put that wind hitting right up over my my helmet right now i still feel a little bit on the top but compared to what it was before night and day before i would be so bobbleheady that when i got home one i couldn't hear even with earplugs in so the the hearing damage was was noticeable two i honestly felt like i had a concussion i was dizzy i was kind of you know hazy cloudy headed uh, and I think it's just the wind just beating the crap out of my head and it was making riding miserable so when I found out about these windshields these flare windshields that Clockworks did I had a buddy of mine that had one laying around I said absolutely I'll take it by the way I'm gonna give my buddy a plug Savoy leather amazing leather works uh, holsters belts I've got a motorcycle wallet that he did it's amazing I guess there's a picture of it. But he had the, the windshield, his wife didn't like it. She didn't like it looking through the tent. They do have clear ones too. They have dark ones, darker than this. And then of course, a lot of people get them painted too. Awesome windshield. I would recommend it, especially taller riders. Uh, if you're as tall as me, you know, six, five, six, 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 seven, and up, you might want to go with the 14. The 12 is fine, don't get me wrong. This this fixed all the issues with the hearing and me feeling all loopy, but uh, I still get a little whipping right at the top of my helmet uh, every now and then, especially when I get on the interstate. Right now, and even up to the 55, it's not bad, but on the interstate, it, it gets, you feel it. Okay, now that you've seen two different ways with both windshields, now here's a little clip of the same road, same speed, stock. Now clock, <laughs> it rhymes. Stock, now clock again. All right, one more time together. Stock, then clock. So you can see a definitive difference, or hear. You can hear a definitive difference in the stock windshield versus the clock windshield. For those of you that are gonna nitpick the sound and tell me what kind of mic I'm using, tell me the GoPro shouldn't do decibels, blah, 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 blah. I made a wind tunnel, okay. I made a giant fan with a wad of smoky leaves, but I thought that would be a great way to show the direction of the wind coming off of the stock windshield versus the clock windshield. So here's that. you see the difference I hope you can hear the difference I hope you go out and buy a clockworks windshield if you're having all those issues or if you just think they're cool for they've got them for everything I think I don't want to say that and then they don't have them so Brian I'm sorry if you don't have them for everything but I know they've got them for pretty much most touring models but they do all kinds of great stuff but the website's really cool too it's just getclocked.com getclocked.com that's cool I wish I came up with that website name. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button. Why did I just wipe my nose as I'm telling you all that? Go to my Instagram, at Zeke underscore Stout, and at LawTigersTN. And tell your friends about me. Tell your friends and family. Tell your friends, family, and people you hate. Thanks guys. Enjoy life, ride safe, and see you later.